Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today. Okay, let's jump right in. Spirit angels, guys. Messages for Capricorn, please, regarding love. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, regarding love? I could just, what's going on for Capricorn and love? I need to know about these angels. What do we need to know for Capricorn? King of Swords reverse. Four of Wands reverse. Well, something is not really uh, stable or happy right now. There could have been verbal conflict or deception or a lack of clarity or communication. We'll have to see what that's all about. Past energies or what's influencing this current situation, the Four of Swords and the Hangman. So right away, I see no movement, no action, and possibly no communication with these two energies here. Okay, how do you feel about this person? The tower. And the ten of swords. Capricorn. What the hell happened? When you think about this person, you think about what's blown up, what has not worked out, what has ended here. What do they think about you? The Ten of Cups and Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy. So I think they recognize the imbalance. They might be wanting to bring something back into balance here. I almost get the sense that this was someone that there was a Ten of Cups possibility here. And it's like ruined. Okay, so what do you need to know? Any hidden factors here? What's going on? Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. And the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay. Okay. And where is all of this headed in the near future? Two of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is going to be kind of like a wild ride, I can already tell, um, in terms of like what we're going to be talking about and what's going to come up. Okay. Um, okay, something big happened between you and this person. This is not a reading for those of you that nothing has happened in your connection. I can tell you that right now. Um... Definitely things have gone down here. Um, let's see if I can kind of show these cards. Okay. So why is all of this happening? What's the root? The Four of Pentacles. Someone could be holding back or holding on to something. We'll have to see what that's all about. Okay. Man. My poor Capricorn viewers. I don't know what happened, but I can tell you it was not easy. Let's clarify. Let's get some insight for Capricorn. Can you get some insight, please, for Capricorn? I mean, this could very well be that someone hasn't said something with the Four of Pentacles here, the Four of Swords, King of Swords reverse. We'll have to see. What's going on here? For Capricorn. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. This is the why everything is happening, the root, the overall energy. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Well, there you are, Capricorn, the devil. Okay. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. First card out is you. Can I get some more insight on this Four of Pentacles, please? Seven of Pentacles, okay. I 
I feel like someone's wondering how you feel. The moon's at the bottom of the deck here, Pisces energy. Um, I feel like this is someone wondering about you. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is kind of a card about um, being nervous or worried about what the future might bring. Um, this is somebody that has been planting seeds and is ready to harvest, but doesn't know exactly how the harvest will go. Um, so with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here, I'm getting someone that's kind of thinking about um, what they don't know. It's like so someone could be holding back here and that leaves the other person wondering. Let's see if I can get one more. Tell me about the devil energy. Why is the devil here, spirit? Why is the devil here? The magician. Okay, tell me about the seven of pentacles. What's the seven of pentacles about? What's the seven of pentacles about? Yeah, someone's wondering. Four of cups, seven of pentacles. I think someone wants to manifest or make something happen with you. Um, but they're not sure of how you would take it is kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, will Capricorn be interested? Will they care what I have to say? Will they accept my offer? Will I get rejected? What are they thinking? You know, I feel like this person's wondering that because they're trying to make something happen with you, but they're not sure how it, how it would go. Okay, so let's look at the current situation. What the heck happened here with this King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reverse? Typically, they're very difficult to deal with. Why is the King of Swords reverse? But because I have the Four of Swords and the Hangman down here, I wonder if this is someone that is not communicating, not um, talking or expressing themselves, whatever. Um, tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Page of Cups. See? I feel like this is someone that's not expressing their, their feelings. And I think it's bringing confusion to the situation. This could be you as well. You might be keeping your feelings to yourself because of everything that's gone down here. This could be also someone wanting to apologize to a person that they have pissed off because the king of swords reverse is definitely somebody that's not happy okay what happened here with this four of wands reverse the world i do feel there was an ending here and it could very well be that someone wants to make this ending begin again or start over the emperor shows up again aries energy it's over here as well so I feel like this is somebody that, especially with the Page of Cups in the world, hoping for a new beginning, a new cycle here. I feel like something has already ended though, because you have the Ten of Swords and the Tower. When you think about this person, you think about an ending. This Magician, this Emperor, very similar energy. The Emperor is a doer. Can I get one more overall energy for the King of Swords reverse and the Four of Cups? Nope, the Four of Wands reverse. Whoa, those came right out. Okay, the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. So I do feel like this is someone that wants to work on things. A new beginning, for sure. Someone wants a new beginning. This could be you, this could be your person. I have a feeling it's your person, but take it as it resonates. However, you know, working together, working on this, a new beginning, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to happen if the Four of Swords is here with the Hangman. These people aren't doing anything. They're laying down or, or tied up. So it, I find it very fascinating that these energies are influencing this current situation. Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Six of Wands, not sure how that would happen. Okay, maybe this is someone thinking about this. Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Five of Wands. Can you get one more please for this Four of Swords? 
King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So what I'm getting here is someone's thinking. I think in their mind, this could go either way. This could be a six of wands or a five of wands. This could be a successful endeavor or a complete disaster. 